by the British Boxing Board of Control and the WBC. The boxers are in the ring name for a flyweight contest at eight stone three pounds over six three minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the gold shorts from Blackwood in Wales, Robbie Regan. And his opponent in the blue corner with the blue shorts from Bethnal Green, Francis Ampufo. Uh, not surprisingly, the crowd solidly on Ampufo's side, local lad At from Bethnal Green. At o'clock today, Regan and Ampufo both scale eight stone three pounds. Your referee for this contest is again Dave Paris and your timekeeper. The burly Bob figure Edith. of Dave Paris, who will loom over these two flyweights. A little bit of eyeballing. Looks a bit like a, a genial uncle, Dave Paris, about to give them their pocket money and send them out to the shops to buy some sweets. Schedule for six three minute rounds. This is the first. And Pufo in the navy trunks and Regan in the gold trunks. Well, Jim Francis Ampufo made his pro debut at the tail end of our last screen sport visit to the York Hall in Bethnal Green. Won that on points. Now he gets the chance to uh, to open the show in front of a very big crowd as well. Yeah, Francis is a is a real nice guy and a real character. Um, apart from that, he's a very good fighter as well. He's very very strong physically and. Um, he looks even tonight. He looks a lot more relaxed in his opening round where he's already got that one contest under his belt. But looking at Regan, he also looks like he knows the score. And uh, this is going to be a very interesting contest by the looks of things, even though it's only the opening round. It's hard to believe that these two boys are both scaled eight stone three because. If you look at Ampufo, beautifully built, solidly muscled, and he looks a, a good three or four pounds heavier than the Welsh boy, Jim. He's like a little pocket battleship. You know, he's very, very physically strong, and um, he trains very hard, and uh, full credit to him for being in such great shape. got a couple of boys in the ring, both of them having only their second pro outing. Don't expect fireworks too early for both of them. It's a very, very important fight. Regan looking for his first pro win, and Pufo looking to maintain the winning start he notched up a few weeks ago here at the York Hall. And just a little smear of blood coming from Regan's nose now in this first round as he backs Ampufo into a neutral corner right above us and tags him with a good jolting short left. An encouraging round this for the Welsh boy so far. Yeah, he shook Francis up uh, a little bit earlier with one of the big shots of these and uh, grinding confidence now, but he doesn't want to get into a slugging match because Francis is very, very strong. Very, very strong. And um, this is going to turn into quite a, quite a battle, I should imagine. I think Regan's going to steal the opening round. He's doing that at the moment, using the ring well. And Pufo stalking his man. <laughs> Big left, right, missed by a mile, right on the bell. Yes, I'd give that round to Regan, Jim. Yeah, I think you've got to, Dave. Um, he, he got through about three or four good clean shots. Um, and that was a big difference in that round. Before that, it was a lot of nip and tuck and just feeling your way through. But, um, give that opening round to Robbie Regan. Well, Robbie Regan's record, compiled by our good friends and regular statisticians, the good folk at Boxing Monthly. And still waiting to open his pro account with a win. He entered the ring and he looked all business, and uh, judging by the first round, he looks like he knows, knows the game. And uh, 
fellas are going to have to set things up and start putting shots together and start calling all over this fella because uh, this kid looks like he can fight. So there we are, both boys professional records for you. And Pufo, one fight, one win. Regan, one fight, one draw. Round two, we're scheduled for six. And Pufo in the Navy, Regan in the gold. France has got to do, he's got to look to jot the right hand over the jab because uh, Regan's got a slick left hand. I'll try and slow Regan down as well. Welsh boy, very fast, using the ring well. Yeah, he's still got a lot of his amateur uh, habits in him. He's bouncing around side to side and uh, nice snappy punches. So he's obviously got off nice and sharp. These two minute rounds are suiting down to the ground. Sorry, these three minute rounds are still getting down to the crown. Having said that, Francis will come on strong. He's in great condition. Well, it's apparent in the second round that these two boys very, very evenly matched. You've got to say that even though Ampufo might have come into this particular bout the favourite to win, Regan is nicking points all the time with that left jab. He not stop working, Jim. I've got to say, Regan's impressed me right from the off. He's, uh, even his entrance to the ring, he just looked, he looked like he knew what he was in there for. And uh, he's justified my early faults. You know, he's very smart and he seems to be thinking about what he's doing and he really looks a good pro. I'd like to see Ampufo working a bit more. He seems to be looking for the single shot all the time, whereas I said just a moment ago, Regan has not stopped working. Not all of his jabs are landing, but at least he's throwing them. Yeah, he's very, very busy, and uh, Francis has got to get off of him because he can't afford to drop rounds, especially in a contest which is only of a six-round duration. Yeah, this is a sprint. And if you get your nose in front and, and win a couple of rounds, it's very, very difficult for your opponent to peg you back. Correct. Regan's looking to put the shots together as well, so he's not just relying on single jabs, you know, he's, uh, he's looking to win this contest, there's no doubt about that. He's not come here to uh, be the opponent in France's backyard. And Pufo, still looking confident, hasn't worked out a way yet to, to unlock Regan, but he's working on it. Watch the head, says Dave Paris to Ampufo, as we near the end of round two. Regan covers up well on the ropes, slips his man, and we're back out in the centre of the ring. <laughs> End of the second. I would have go with Regan again, Jim. Well, I'm going to sit on the fence on that one. I thought it was more of an even Stevens. Uh, Regan was getting off with a couple of little clusters, but the last minute of the round, I thought Ampufo dominated. He was uh, chasing and hunting and banging one or two good body shots.